we've got four vacancies and they'll be coming into the housing service which is part of Central Bedfordshire Council. They'll be joining um, a landlord service which looks after 5,000 properties in the area and two of them will be joining a team that looks after um, privately rented accommodation and people who are vulnerable and looking for housing so potentially people who are homeless, right the way through to people who are living in privately rented accommodation. And we cover things like overcrowding or whether there are issues of concern to people living in that sort of housing. So it's quite a range, quite a wide range of activities that we do. And what we'll look to do is put two people in one team, landlord service, two people in the other team, housing advice and assistance, and then after six months we'll swap them so that at the end of that year people are getting a really good grounding in what the housing service does. We're really keen, it's a cliche, but we're really keen to grow our own. Uh, we've got a number of young people already working with us and they're doing really well and they're progressing through the organisation. But we really are committed to bringing in some young people, possibly, who maybe come from the local area and we are very keen that they, again, get a good grounding in what we do, they benefit from the training, they gain a qualification and then move up into different parts of the housing service. So in a few years time we'd love to see some of them as managers specialising in particular areas. Um, we are, we are, and I am, really excited. Um, we've aimed to launch through National Apprenticeship Week and we've done that. Um, so We've, staff are aware of what's going on. I'm getting lots of questions by the day now from people here. Um, we've opened up the training opportunity to some members of staff um, who are already in the housing service. So apprentices that join us will also be doing their training with people who are here and we'll buddy them up so they can sort of be a friend for them just to sort of steer them through because um, no doubt the council will be a confusing place for them. So we are well ready, we are prepared for them to come so we're just hoping that lots of people apply. If you want to apply the best thing to do is to visit the National Apprenticeship Scheme website. You go online there, there's the application form and it's also got quite a lot of detail about the job, what it involves, the hours, the pay, the qualification, things like that. So I'd advise people to use that as their first port of call, but they can also contact the council and we can steer them towards that website so they can apply online there.